In last video we covered, EDF amplifier used to amplify the signal with erbium ions. Video link you can found in description. To excite the ions need pump laser at specific wavelengths. We are using two pump wavelengths in EDFA. One is 980 nanometer and second is 1480 nanometer. So the question is when to use which wavelength amplifier or can say what's the difference to using. The major differences between using these wavelengths are, in 980 nanometers we'll get low gain around 10 to 15 dB, with 1480 nanometers we'll get high gain around 20 to 30 dB, 980 nanometers amplifier preferred to use as preamplifier, means near to receiver. 1480 nanometers amplifier preferred to use as post amplifier and line amplifier. Post amplifier means near to transmitter, and line amplifier means mid amplifier site. We use 980 nanometers amplifier when high OSNR is requirement. Using 1480 nanometers amplifier when low OSNR is requirement. These are main difference to using these wavelength amplifier. Let's understand the reason. The main factor is amplified spontaneous emission, which we called noise also. Both wavelengths are excited the erbium ions to high energy state, and from their ions starts dropping on ground. When photons transition from high state to ground state, produce lots of excess noise, this noise is called amplified spontaneous emission. And this excess noise vary based on wavelengths used to excite ions. Which makes the difference of EDF a pump wavelengths. When using 980 nanometers wavelength, produce less OSA noise. The reason is, Using 980 nanometers as source, photons inside the erbium fiber are maintained in high level state. Only a small percentage of ions return to ground state, which produce low noise. Due to few photons dropped and produce less energy, that why have low to modest gain around 10 to 15 dB and able to amplify optical signal without producing lot of noise. This makes 980 nanometers pumped amplifier good candidate as pre-amplifier. Where receiver sensitivity and requirements for high optical signal to noise ration and low but performance are determining factor. Use 1480 nanometers pumped EDFA, without too much concern for noise level. As in this lots of OSA noise produce, around twice of noise generated by 980 nanometers EDFAs. The reason is ions cannot sustain at high energy level and high percentage of ions return to ground and produced high levels of OSA noise. As lots of ions dropped, and produced lots of energy, having high gain around 20 to 30 dB, due to high noise level, making this amplifier best suited to operate as post amplifier, or inline amplifier. Also can use in cascaded configuration. Hope this information was helpful, please share your feedback in comments section.